in the sinky 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 room in the sinky 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 room where the co-host takes turning screws with you in the sinky 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 room welcome back to <laughs> <Roll> players <laughs> <laughs> i knew you were going to do that this time. Uh, i like i like trying to come up with like stupid songs to interrupt people for some reason okay this so um so I was looking around. Damn it. I fucking saw bananas up there. I was like, I want those. I, I need some crystal coconuts, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so in between episodes, I was looking around to see what, what the heck I can do in this area, because I was actually getting pretty lost. Yeah, and we found an entire new area that we haven't even yeah. been to yet. So apparently, like, there's a fair amount of stuff that we can do. Why am I not going up? Invisible wall? There you go. You okay. to get closer to the tree. I am almost out, dude. Uh, get it? Okay. Okay. It wasn't there? Didn't we? Didn't we get like a refill if we visited like Candy or something? I don't remember. But um, there's there's other people we need to see. <laughs> but um, anyway, what I was trying to say was uh, in between episodes, I was looking up on stuff what to do, and I found this area, and uh, we're gonna. Oh, there are crystal coconuts over there. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with there over there with Tiny because there's bananas over there. <laughs> and um. I thought that we weren't making any progress, but as it turns out, we were actually making a fair amount of progress after all. We just turned in all of our yeah. bananas, and now we're like under 80, and we needed, what, 300? Yeah, we, we start, there was, it, it, the count started at 300 bananas to get to the boss. We now require 80 more. Nice. So, we actually did make some good progress, just not in the way of golden bananas. <laughs> So. We, can always, we can always go grab some of the the golden nanners off camera too if we have to. Yeah, I mean, there's all there's also the uh, the older areas, so we can go back there and um, get some of get some from the older areas that because actually going back to the older areas to get golden bananas would be easier. Yeah, because each area has five golden bananas that each Kong can get. Yeah, so there's what. 25 yeah, there's like five golden bananas per world. Yeah, so there's so there's still a fair amount of areas where we went through it without a specific character. Where do we need to go? <laughs> um, trying to figure that out now. It, oh. The, the camera's actually being a really big enemy yeah. right now. Um, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. maybe I need to play this I, first. Yeah, I think we need to do that first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what do you mean you're not tiny? <laughs> <laughs> Quack! What do you think I am, an eagle? You're far too heavy for me. <laughs> okay, maybe we have to play as. Uh, yeah, we have to play as Tiny Tiny. I didn't. I didn't know we could do that. Me neither. I didn't know. Huh? Apparently, you can. Okay. Well, we used do up. A, we actually used up a fair amount of just, crystal just, coconuts there. Just like your, <laughs> you go back to play it, and it's just like a little, like, a super high-pitched horn now. <laughs> so instead of just being a, a nice, smooth sax, it's just like, beep! <laughs> <laughs> squawk is just like, oh, God! <laughs> there we go. Hold on yeah. tight! Here we go, boy! <laughs> I'm gonna drop you in this anthill! <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. Ah, uh, I was trying Aww. to get the bananas before I fell. Oh, we can jump back up there later and... Yeah. Okay, so we have... We don't have a, a limit on our... Uh, uh, crystal coconuts right now. Oh. Wait, what? what? What did I just do? You died. I don't know what I just did. You just fell to your death. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, you fell to your death, dude. <laughs> How did I fall to my death? Oh, there is a feather button. We can do that. Oh, we can do yeah. that. Yeah. We'll have to figure out how to get back to that other area later. I, I know how to get there. Okay. I know how to get there. So, so let's go check this out. Yeah, this is another door we haven't seen yet. Yeah, we haven't seen this yet. Let's check it out. We might actually find something mm -hmm. that'll get us more progress on golden bananas. And now we need Chunky. Oh. Uh, of course. And there's purple bananas behind the door, oh, of course. Oh, really? Dang it. The this world does that so much! Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, now you need this character. Oh, now you go back to that character. I, I wish they would let you, like, power swap on the fly. That would be useful. But so I, fucking I'm, useful. I don't think that the game could have handled that. Probably not. 
So that's why they have the the rotation barrels because of I guess just it's probably programming. Okay, so now I gotta go back and get tiny. <laughs> Watch, you're gonna grab like three bananas and then it's gonna be like, oh, you need chunky. <laughs> Don't fucking jinx this shit. I am super salty right now. I can tell. So, uh, how about I pose a hypothetical question to you? Or what is your a, hypothetical? Not even a hypothetical. What is your um, question? Do you think that right now we're kind of in, like, an age of, like, reboots and revamps of, like, creative ideas? That is an excellent question, actually. And there was only one purple <laughs> banana. Now it's all green. <laughs> Please help me. Those awful tomatoes have eaten all of my friends. And I'm the <laughs> only one left. <laughs> I'll give anyone a nice shiny banana who can sort them <gasps> out. <laughs> a nice shiny banana. That is a very like. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> is that oh, a, is that a vampire pumpkin. It's a vampire tomato. Oh, they're tomatoes. I thought they were pumpkins. <laughs> Even though I just said to me, <laughs> you know, I think I know what just happened there. What just happened there? I was trying to get those bananas and they turned into tomatoes. Uh -huh. Wait, no, they were under the ground and I just didn't see them. Mm hmm. Just because I... their their stems were popping out. Ow. So how do we how do we get rid of them? Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out now. Give me a moment. Can we shoot them? I don't think we can actually shoot them. Jeez. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Th this is a chunky area. Oh, gosh. There's chunky. Not chunky. Funky. Funky, funky, chunky. There's funky chunks all over the place. <laughs> funky, chunky, man. Funky, chunky. It's funky, funky, chunky. That's what I, my nickname for my dog, actually. <laughs> that's that, that that's a nickname that I've had for my dog for the longest time. Spunky, Aww. hunky, chunky. I like it. <laughs> it's like, because my dog's name is Spunky, and I'm always like, Hey, Spunky, Chunky, Hunky, Funky! <laughs> uh, where's the barrel? Find anything to plant? Okay. There's so much huh. stuff to do in this area. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, maybe it's up on the mushroom. It, it, okay. I miss a couple Is it up minutes. here? Is that... Oh, oh tiny. <laughs> This area does it so much. Yep. We, what I really need. There's oh. the barrel. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's squash some killer tomatoes from outer space. Yeah. Wait, killer tomatoes from outer space? Yeah, you've never seen that movie. That sounds <laughs> Don't like an punch amazing. the worm. I will punch him with my face. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We're out of crystal coconuts. <laughs> yeah, we need more. And uh, I am reawakening all the vampire tomatoes. <laughs> so, would would uh, vampire Dracula? Would Funky only do like vampire Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say vampire tomatoes. He's more supernatural than the original Dracula. <laughs> oh, homing ammo! Oh, that would have been so handy. Why didn't yep. we grab this upgrade a long time ago? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think you only get it here. Okay. <laughs> so, so that, right. oh, that's what those red boxes were that we couldn't pick up earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the red boxes are the um, ho uh, homing ammo. Nice. But now we need crystal coconuts because reasons. <laughs> I remember if we saw candy, she refilled those. So we might need to go on a hunt for her. She has to be around somewhere. Mm-hmm. So there, there are any every world, but like what uh, what I was asking earlier is like, I feel like. We're seeing less, like, original ideas. And we're seeing more and more, like, revamps, retellings, and just, like, reboots of series at this point. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we are I, we are seeing a big push toward... Not this area again. I don't want to go there. Um, do we, we are seeing a big push towards uh, revamps, reboots... Uh, remakes, like, remakes are big right now. Yeah. Um, like, video games, for example, I mean, they are constantly coming out with remakes right now. And I, I and, don't, I don't mind it so much yeah. for, uh, 
video games because most of the times they're just updating the graphics to make them look better. Woo, metal! And that I can understand as long as you don't change it. But whenever you get something like what Final Fantasy VII's doing, I get a little worried because it's, it's like, oh, we're going to add this, we're going to, you know, change the combat system, and... I'm just like, well, to be fair, they were trying. They they decided they wanted to try something a little bit different, other than just making the exact same game all over again. And I I understand where they're coming with that, but so many people love Final Fantasy VII the way it is, and that's why I'm worried is that they're going to change it into something that people are going to I guess reject because it's not the same. I guess I could see where you're coming from there. And I'm only saying that because Final Fantasy was such a huge, popular game and people love the way that it looked and felt. If they were taking something that was a weaker game and revamping it, I could understand that. But whenever you take something that was so hugely popular and then you say you're going to change it? <laughs> yeah, I guess I could see the You're, you're treading that. on some thin ice. Yeah, you, I can understand the, the thoughts behind that because I know that uh, a lot of people, they announced that uh, they announced that the remake is going to be a uh, multi-part series and a lot of people were just like, No! Mm -hmm. This is bullshit! And I was on the sidelines like, I don't see how that could be a terrible thing as long as it's done right. <laughs> yeah, but then at that point, it, this is something else I think I was debating with Wade, is uh, at that point you're going to have to pay twice as much money for a game that you could that the original was the, you know cheaper than just the the one copy. If they're going to charge sixty dollars for each episode or each well, part, if that if they did that, that would be bullshit. Yeah. Now if they did, now now. If they charge $60 per part, then it would have to be like they make a full game out of each individual part and mm -hmm. they kind of make it into like a trilogy that's going to go on for years. Like, let's say, for example, the first game, it comes out this year. Yeah. Um, it, they charge $60 for it, but it's a full-fledged game that you could still get 50 hours out. Mm -hmm. I could see that being fair. It's like, yeah. In my opinion, if you can get 50, like if you can get 20 to 50 hours out of a game, then I think the $60 is justified. Yeah, but I still have this feeling that it's going to end up kind of like uh, The Hobbit, where they tried to take one book and split it into three movies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're taking one story that was one full video game, and you're going to try and elongate it and add more depth and intrigue <laughs> and replayability to make it think, like, what, what was Final Fantasy VII? Like, like let's just say if it was a 40-hour game. Now you're taking a 40-hour story and splitting it into 120 hours? <laughs> well, if you really think about it objectively, think about how big of a game Final Fantasy VII actually was. Yeah. It was pretty fucking huge if you actually really think about it. Mm -hmm. And now imagine trying to remake a game that huge with modern technology, especially with how much Square Enix likes to push it. Oh yeah, I, I know it's it's, it, it's understandable why they're splitting it into multiple parts because they don't want to have to take anything away from the original game. Yeah. But it would take them like a decade or more to make that happen. Yeah. It's just I understand exactly why they're doing it. And honestly, if it's done right, then I don't really have a complaint about it. Yeah, I just I don't want them to to fill in all those extra hours of content with just like fluff material and mini games and that kind of stuff because then you're just diluting it with extra stuff to increase the playtime. Well, I'm not I don't think it's like mini games just like cuz they said that the first part um of the the remake series is going to be Midgar so like all the like the whole first part of the game that's in Midgar, and then it'll end when they go out into the world. Does that make sense? Yeah. So but I, it didn't. Hey, it's a bunny. Aw, oh, yay! <laughs> hey there, Lanky. Heard you're a bit of a mover. How about a good old-fashioned running race <laughs> around my ob obstacle course? I can't. Get, the text I can't keep up with. It just <laughs> I need to go a little bit faster, please. <laughs> Uh oh. Do your handstand. Here we go. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm so <laughs> Look at the way he runs. I like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, like he's taunting you. <laughs> well, Running fuck. backwards. Fuck you. I'll get you. Damn it! Stop doing that, Lanky. <laughs> but, uh, oh, what was I saying? Dang it. I got distracted. Like, I, I don't want them to, to lose, like, a bit of it. And even then, it, you weren't in Midgard that long. Yeah, it's true. So that I'm was just, actually a pretty short part of the game. Yeah, so I'm just like, if that's going to be the entire first part of the game, then that actually has me more worried. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're in Midgard maybe, what, like, 20, 30 minutes? Not really. You actually spend a fair amount of time in Midgard. Well, if you skip all the dialogue. I, I'm talking about just raw playtime, not cutscenes. And even that, I don't want it to be like a movie. I, like, that, that's something that's always kind of bugged me, is like, if you're going to make a cinematic game, like, like the Telltale ones, where it's more dialogue than action, I understand that. But with an RPG, you should be in control a majority of the time. Aww. <laughs> Yay! You get a, now you gotta race the rabbit again. Wait, oh, I, at least. oh, I lost? Yeah, you have to beat him to there. Oh, I thought he was kind of guiding me and I was just no. over the stuff. <laughs> he said he's challenging to your race! <laughs> you need to get ahead of him. <laughs> And beat him. <laughs> oh, the arrow points where I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, fuck me again. <laughs> fuck me again like you did on episode 18. Oh, those were the best of times. <laughs> oh, that was one heck of a night. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, oh, what the hell. Uh, like, I just, I, I still, I worry about that game so much. And I don't know why, because I never even finished Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Wait, you never finished it? I got to the point where I was about to fight Sephiroth, but then I, I somebody had already shown me the ending, so I never like actually did the fight with Sephiroth. Huh. But like I, I beat all the I beat the I beat all the weapons. But I just like I, at that point after beating like uh, Emerald Weapon and uh, was it Ruby Weapon? I just like kind of just like it's not really a point to fight Sephiroth because I already know what the ending is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can understand. But I mean, technically, I didn't beat it. But like, after grinding the freaking uh, what is it, the uh, Knights of the Round and the Golden Chocobo and all that stuff, I just I lost interest. And that's why I'm worried. Whenever they say they're going to make it a big multi-part game, I don't know if like the people that would have had the time to play it way back when will have the time to play it, play even more of it now. Yeah. Especially when they know how everything's going to end. Wait a minute, what? What the- What? That's all I get for beating him is three coins? Maybe he has a harder race and you can re-challenge him. What the actual fuck? I thought for sure that was gonna get me like a golden banana. That's what I thought too. Why the fuck? I'm doing this again. Th th that was weird. <laughs> I'm ready for you this time. Oh, okay, it's a rematch. Oh, okay. So he wants a rematch. Okay, okay. so two out of two. Do it. I'll beat him. I'll beat him so hard. <laughs> Just remember, rabbits breed very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he is destroying you. <laughs> wow, he's fast. <laughs> um, is there maybe an upgrade we're missing for Lanky <laughs> to where this is faster? Is that, I I remember oh, him running faster no. than this. So yeah, this he, is this is the fastest he can run right now. I, I'm thinking we may need another upgrade. Ow! I could have sworn that like he, you can run faster. Wow, he went. He, mm -hmm. His speed picked what? the fuck up. <laughs> I'm ready for you this time. Pew! Holy this, cow! I, we can't even see him anymore. <laughs> no, I don't even know where he is. He's just like taking a nap somewhere. Oh wow, he's already done. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. My grandpa can run faster than you. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of the Noid. 
<laughs> like if, if like he had the if he had red fur <laughs> instead yeah, of what true. he has, it's like he has like that that heavy like eyeliner shadow on him and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that owl's still up there. If it's since oh it's yeah, because it's daytime. I don't know if he'll still be up there. Oh yeah, owls are nocturnal. That's actually a good point. I forget that. Dang it. Let's find out. So many mechanics in this level. Oh my god, yes. I. It's just... I I've been all over this place and there's so much fucking shit you the, gotta do with each individual character. Mm-hmm. Is the Diddy Barrel even, like, up there? The Diddy Barrel's here. Nope. No, you need it. Yeah, it's gotta be that time. Oh. Wait, hold on a minute. Because I already called him out. Let me... <laughs> Hey. Yo, Al! <laughs> I'm ready to throw down. <laughs> Yo, Al! I'm ready to race you or whatever. Come on, bro. I got a jetpack. You just got wings. <laughs> you ain't got shit. <laughs> I will destroy you. Okay, yeah, this is where he was. Just, like, go into his house. <laughs> Aw. There's nope. nothing in his house. <laughs> no, nope. he's. it's gotta be nighttime. Because he's an owl. Yeah. Okay, so right. we need to track down Cranky, too, in this world. Well, we- I already found Cranky, and I- you did? I- I went with- I thought I brought characters in there to see him, and- Damn it, I'm trying All to- Alright, how- him. how about this? We'll- we'll go ahead and end this episode, we'll go to Cranky, and double check. We really need and... to figure out how to make progress right now. <laughs> like, we're still at 54 golden bananas! We Aww. haven't gotten a single one! It's okay. These- these worlds start getting more complicated. <laughs> this place is just... I remember this place being a lot more fun than, I, than it is. What the hell happened to this place? It was just a jolly old romp through the mushroom forest. This is... I'm, 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 at, I'm drawing a blank! I'm drawing a blank on what I'm supposed to be doing. And then all of the universe conspired against me. Fuck you, lunky me. mushroom toad! <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's... I know, like, these past couple of episodes have been kind of, like, just less talk- around. I've been less talkative because I've just been all think- I've just uh, been constantly pondering, like, What. Do. I. Do. Did you not have <laughs> enough coins? No, he doesn't have anything. I could've swore he said we needed 15 coins. No, he said he needed 15 gold medals. He's talking about the banana medals. Oh. So we need 15 medals, we only have two. So right, that, but that's for later in the let's game. Let's try going in there as as Lanky. Yeah. And then we'll we'll go ahead and in and, and, and there. Yeah, I think it, I, I if, if we if we can't if I'm thinking here's what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh-huh. What do you think? Um what I'm thinking is if we can't get any more golden bananas here right now, somehow, mm -hmm. then I'm probably just gonna go to one of the older levels and start getting some golden bananas there. Okay. Um, because I am so fucking lost with this place. <laughs> I just... I don't know what to do. Nope, he's got nothing. Oh, uh, okay, so we do need the medals now. Well, we need... No, like, if he doesn't have anything for you, he immediately addresses the medals. Okay. Um, right now he literally has nothing for us. Maybe because... we have to go to a later level and get that upgrade and then come back here. I guess that's what it has to be. I don't think this level's so fucking weird, man. <laughs> How much progress did we even make? I mean, zero, 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 one, one. We got two. Wow. <laughs> Only Chunky and Tiny have gotten golden bananas here, and each one has five. You know what? Next time on Rogues and Roll Players, we're gonna go to an older area and we're gonna pick up the pace because we need to get some golden bananas. Um. I mean, if if we did if we did do one thing, we did get a lot of regular bananas. Yeah. So we're, we're we're getting close to being able to fight the boss of this area, but we need golden bananas. Like we need 65 to get to the next area so that we can fight the next boss. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we we need at least like 11 more golden bananas. All right. So next time on Rogues and Roll Players, progress. Yes. Next time on Rogues and Roll play Players. Progress. <laughs> Next time on Rogues and Roll Prayers. Because <laughs> I almost said that. And next time on Rogues and Rumpelstiltskin. 
<laughs> Rogue and Rumpelstiltskin? Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. I want that to be a We're going game. to have kilts and bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> can we have can we have the can we have the guy from uh, Samurai Jack too? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. Draw your sword! <laughs> I'll show you what it's like to be a real swordsman. <laughs> that guy was awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, next time on Rogues and Role Players, we'll make real progress. Yeah. Yeah.